We said we would never do this again. We're about to take three planes over 11 hours to do it again. We made it to Idaho, and some of you already may know where we are. This is Courtney and Riley, also known as Ambition Strikes on YouTube. These two have spent the last few years building an incredible off-grid property with their own two hands in the mountains of Idaho. From their garage home build to constructing a road, nothing is off limits and no experience is necessary as they have the ambition to learn. We plan to help them build their new container workshop and yep, we signed ourselves up to roof it. Courtney and Riley called us in to give them a hand with their... I call it an equipment shed. Equipment shed! And this thing is absolutely massive and beautiful. So let's see what we can all accomplish this week. As you all know, there may be some roofing this week, but this is just a warm up. In this episode, we not only roof this container workshop, but we are going to drive giant machines, try welding for the first time, and captain a yacht. So what is absolutely so cool about this build is everything they do out here is so custom and unique. These two shipping containers made up by this roof. They moved it with that thing in front of you. Moved with this machine to store these beauties. It's just very cool. All very unique. First step is to do the trim work. Then we're going to stain this. It's nice. nice that we don't like staining and that it'd be a good job to- Oh, thanks so much. I can't wait to start staining. <laughs> Okay, good. At least we have one painter in this crew. But they do have a really fun way that we get to stain. So I can't wait for that. And that way we actually finish the container workshop. We're starting slow here to make sure we all know each other's roles, you know. It seems Courtney and Crystal share the same roles. Seems like Riley and I share the same roles. Two, full PPE. I love it. Well, Riley's deaf in one ear and if we're both deaf, Massive, eh? How big is it? Uh, well, they're 40 foot containers and there's 23 feet in between them. So it's like, the outside is like 40 by 44. I wow, think. what a dream, eh, Jazzy? Yeah, well, their machines are also a dream. <laughs> All of us are filming this incredibly unique build, so make sure you head on over to their channel to watch us take this project to the finish line. Jazzy, you're gonna have to try the skid yeah. steer. Yeah, you're gonna have to try the skid steer. I can't, you're gonna have to come back in winter with the snowblower launching the snow up the hill. Can I go under the snow? Um, sometimes it shoots rocks. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> or a helmet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a mask. Jazzy's going for a ride. Riding on a feeling, everyone can see it. Why did I do it like that? Day one is looking pretty good out here. Jazzy's doing what she does best, and I'm doing what I do best. <laughs> Looks my, fun. My happy place. Oh gosh, says no one ever. <laughs> oh, first time ever with a fancy camera. I am learning <laughs> so much over here. Who trusted me with this thing? How are Bam. We all... <laughs> Working hard. So how are we doing up here? That looks so good. <laughs> This is the first time I've seen it, like since the stain was going on. Yeah, really since the first three or four boards. I think I'm getting better with Courtney's technique. Okay, <laughs> she was a little I, heavy. You might have had to go to the hardware store again. <laughs> I think, uh, oh, I learned how to zoom too. <laughs> <laughs> I think that uh, Reckless Riley is wearing off on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> on my side. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, what are you doing up there? <laughs> Look at that. I thought you were afraid of heights. Yeah. Last piece. Yeah. Might have to cut it again, so I'm not ready to put it up. <laughs> Mighty fine. Working hard, eh? Day one, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, look at it all. <laughs> look at the arm. Yeah, it's looking so good. I can't believe how much work they've done to get to this point, and it's so cool that we're here to cross the finish line almost. Yeah. And see it come together is gonna be really satisfying. Oh no, it's <laughs> Crystal's brush. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm very messy. <laughs> <laughs> Is there just so much paint on it? Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, I told you you're a heavy painter. Maybe I know, I painted my arm. Look at Courtney's brush. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing it's, it's like clear. Brush. Like there's, like Courtney, you can probably return this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to roof in the morning. We just enjoyed our coffee with the most gorgeous mountainous sunrise. It is I so nice up here and the air is chef's kiss. Cheers everyone. Doing Riley's thing. 
<laughs> Sorry, it's a gentle cheers. Today's the day that this building gets a new roof and we do the thing that we said we'd never do again. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready! Ready! Woo! Courtney's warming up the skid steer because she has a fantastic plan where we're not actually gonna have to lift up these metal sheets on our own. I need two strong women. I'm seeing you up there. I'm seeing you seeing me too. <laughs> Metal's on the skid steer. We're getting a heck of a lot closer to putting that metal up. I love machines. Courtney is so badass in her skid steer. I love seeing her in there. She just loves that machine. It's so obvious. <laughs> It really makes me want one. <laughs> it looks so handy for everything. I can't believe how high you can actually lift materials. I feel like it could come in handy at our homestead. <laughs> okay, Jazzy, in all honesty, how are you feeling about this roof? I'm actually excited to do it with more hands than just Crystal and I. When we roofed our cabin back home in Nova Scotia, it was just the two of us. And we only had building experience probably for four months before that and nothing nothing close to roofing and we roofed our entire cabin just the two of us and crystal wouldn't go on the roof at that time so i was constantly going up and down lifting those heavy metal sheets just the two of us over the scaffolding and back on the roof so this is a lot less intimidating every single person here has roofed before which is super helpful and everyone is so handy and knowledgeable that i think it's going to be like i think we're going to bang out this entire roof in one day not gonna lie thank you to electric bikes for sponsoring this week's video and for making my life 10 times more fun. We've been riding these bikes for over a year out here. And when we heard they wanted to partner, we were so excited because we know all of you will love these. If we could have driven these to Idaho, we would have. The team at Electric proudly makes the most affordable electric bikes in North America, but using the most durable materials, like a 500 watt motor that peaks at 1000 watts, hydraulic disc brakes, front suspension, and the ability to carry 150 pounds in the rear basket. These bikes are made for people who want to get out there and explore, making commuting to work or the grocery store easy, but also the ability to explore trails and places like these woods with their off-road tires. It seriously is such a great family activity to do together. My mom hadn't rode a bike in 20 years and she loves them, especially the XP 3.0, which has this really nice step through so you can get on and off the bike with ease, as well as the pedal assist. You can control control the amount of work you want to do with the pedal assist function by clicking plus or minus on the bike and even just pedaling. It engages the motor and allows you to do either less work or more work depending on the type of activity you want to do that day. If you've been thinking about an electric bike for you or someone you love, click on the link in the description and check out all of their models and their accessories. They're super sweet. Couldn't recommend them more. All right, back to Idaho we go. Gonna take the bike there. Whee! Idaho's this way! I believe in this. Oh, I can't wait. It's so cool to like do something that you've said you would never do again. Step one, make sure the first piece is level and square and all of that jazz. That way our roof doesn't look like a slope or a hill. You never know what way it could go. And Riley's gonna tell you how we're gonna do that. So... I guess the question is, did you build this building square? Probably not. <laughs> I built it as square as I could, but every time I tried to move a container to get them square to each other, things would move and I eventually got frustrated oh, and just said true. good enough. I never actually thought of that. Because you're placing two containers, everyone's played that game where you pull one side and then the other side goes out, and then you pull the other side and the other side goes out. That's probably what he was doing. The entire time. Courtney, are you excited? <laughs> I am so excited to get this roof on. We've been staring out at this structure from our house for a week and I can't wait to put the metal on. Friends by friends, a safety harness, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what they're doing here wow. is super cool. We're making a triangle. A giant triangle. This is some proper roofing, folks. My calf muscle is shaking uncontrollably and I am not doing it. Okay, I okay, everything is going so smooth. I love roofing. Can't believe I'm saying that. We're on our fifth sheet of metal. It's not even 10. And it's not even 10 a.m. Well, maybe 10.05. All right, it's 10 a.m. How many panels have we got up? I literally just did the same thing. You did? Yep. Okay, you get it twice. <laughs> I was feeling like I didn't need to measure and mark 
for these screws <laughs> until I look down my line and... We should have started with the other side, eh? We would have learned that mistake. But yeah, so we, we probably should have. We always start with a side people can't see, because then we learn so many things. That's smart. That's really smart. <laughs> Every single build. Squared it off to the fascia. Won't point any fingers or anything. Just kidding. It's going to be a little bit of a stair-like, but we're going to go down by like... We did this on our roof at one point. A quarter. You can't even the, notice it. On the side you can't see. And you can't mm -hmm. notice it at all. Also, there's going to be another roof here, so you're never noticing. Yeah, so this board here, the fascia... Whoop is it's milled so it's not quite perfect right but who wants perfect no one wants perfect exactly <laughs> i'm having my fancy coffee that you can only get in the united oh, states the yeah oh, okay i was thinking you got one of those canned ones again I was like, i'm not messing around here yeah, last piece Woo! Last piece. look at this cool tool you just jump slide on your butt <laughs> look at this tool Remember our little scissors, basically, that cuts metal? Yeah, not you the can... vibe. Whoa. What? That's so sick. Look how smooth they are. I need these. First side is completed, and I have to say, Riley, Courtney, you've made me love roofing all over again. <laughs> that, I was, that was probably the most fun I've ever had on the roof, too. Yay, <laughs> roofing fun with friends. When we start roofing at another building, I'm calling you. I just got the best update ever. Look at what Bella's doing. Playing with lamb chop. Gosh, I miss those girls. One for the view. Side number two. This time, we use the string. So we're gonna be, it's gonna be even easier. Wow, you are crushing. Can you just take in how far we've made it? I am shocked. Like, what time is it? We're gonna have time to break and go out to dinner, I think. We're going for dinner? <laughs> and ice cream. And ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> have to say, we are the dream team. Look at these impact drivers going. Ah. Got it. One, two, three. We are all shocked that it is only day two here and the roof is on. I for sure thought when Courtney and Riley said that we would be able to do this all in three days, I was like, there's no way. It might take a week or however long, but it goes to show when you've got a good team, you get stuff done because this is looking incredible and we are on the very last piece. The electric shears are out. That is honestly the coolest machine. I just see double when I try it. I think I need glasses. You 100% <laughs> need glasses. And every time I try, I go blurry and then I get an instant headache and I just see everything. I feel like dancing songs. Did that hit you in the head? Oh my god. Are you done? I am done. We that are. Was it. Don't slide from all the way up there. Riley. <laughs> it looks like a kid. Whee! <laughs> we did it. Thank you Woo! both so much. Like Honestly, I thought we were calling in the A. YouTube team, but maybe like the C builder team, but I feel like you guys are like the A, A team. <laughs> Thanks for teaching us how to roof. Oh, how to have fun oh, roofing. No, you, taught us. You, you're the ones that remembered all the special little tricks that I'd forgotten. <laughs> Teamwork. Teamwork makes a dream work. Crushed it. Welcome to Ambition Strikes, where yet again our equipment has run out of fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. It is an all workout here. A lot of it is fun. It is basically Disneyland for adults out here. For us anyway, this is amazing. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Also, after all that hard work, it's obviously time to play. Today, we're going to drive giant machines, try welding for the first time, and captain a yacht. The fact that this excavator has a Google AI makes my day. It's huge. Jazzy's in the excavator. I hope that Jazz is having as much fun operating that thing as I am watching. <laughs> Anyone want to have a campfire? There's a back, I want that rock over there. <laughs> That was 
too much fun. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I just drove a 12 ton excavator. I never in my wildest dreams thought I'd be operating a 12 ton excavator. Fly was capped at five. My turn! Look, Chris, there's a sunroof. Nice. <laughs> or is that an escape hatch? <laughs> oh, true. Well, Chris is a lot smarter than me. It's an escape hatch. You should make that googly eye talk. Three, one, <laughs> So cool. That was the time of my life. Thank Good you work. <laughs> wow, it's such a big machine though. It's like really quite spooky to be in there at one point. When did you guys get this excavator and why? So we've had this excavator for about six months now and we needed a bigger machine to build the road behind me. This was actually the companion machine to a much larger cat excavator. We got a lot of work done this summer. Look at that road, everyone. Road builder. <laughs> Looking around out here at the property, you may think that they have loads of experience and that, you know, they've adapted this knowledge from someone else over years, but they are new to almost all of what they've done here. And that is what is so impressive about them. Hence the name Ambition Strikes. They really just love to learn and get their hands dirty. And it's super inspiring. Honestly, having such a great time just wandering around their land, playing with their toys and their tools and learning so much from them. This is what I love so much about YouTube is our wonderful community and the ability to make friends all around the world and meet people like Courtney and Riley. I feel like we've made friends for life. <laughs> Just like Jazz and Crystal, we're also fully off grid here with a similar Victron system, but a little bit bigger. Can't wait to see it. Also this DIY solar array. Sweet. 20,000 watts of Victron inverters, 60 kilowatt hours of batteries. It's enough so that we can weld, plasma cut, do all kinds of fabricating right here on the property, fully off grid. You heard that right. Just like we are off grid in Nova Scotia, Courtney and Riley are fully off grid out here in the mountains in Idaho. And this is their home and their workshop. Welcome to the shop. Come on in. I love it's it. It's so cool in here. So we live in a 12 by 40 apartment upstairs right above me. Courtney has a surprise for us today. We are going to be learning how to weld. They're pretty good welders. As you can see, everything is metal. I think I just showed you all wood and drywall, but everything is metal here. I'm going to be just as surprised as all of you. Also, this is something you've been wanting to learn for so long. Welding? I know. I've been wanting to learn actually for like the last 10 years. So you run? Yeah. You click it once and then you're going to click it again. There you go. So we're both doing welding projects today. Do you all see what's happening? Theirs is the first one that's been cut and now our surprise is about to be cut. So we have to blindfold ourselves. If anyone has any guesses on what they think it is, leave them in the comments because I actually don't even know. I wonder if they all know before me. Let us know. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. So fun. I'm excited for you guys to weld it. Yeah, now we get to weld. I know. It gets better and better and better. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Right? That's so cool. If you haven't subscribed to our friends already, you really should. Get over there now, please. Come on, Pac. <laughs> like, look how kind this is. I was just thinking about how kind you guys are while I was doing that. My mom is going to be obsessed with this too. No one can't see you. Uh, ah, I forget, I can't look at it. You have to point and show them what you just did because that's really awesome. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, wow. I had a consistent line, the first one. What is, these are funny. <laughs> okay. That's good, proud of you. It. You look oh. so cool. <laughs> I'm 
welding experience you have? How much welding experience do you have? One minute. <laughs> <laughs> The wind will spin it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. It's strong. The hurricane wind. <laughs> hurricane wind. I think oh, it's going to work. Oh, this looks so cool. Oh, it's hurricane season right now. Like when it comes, it's going to work amazing. Come on, it's the best thing ever. I think it's totally going to work. Certified welders. The interactive tour doesn't end here. Time to become an operator. A skid steer operator. Let's see who it is. <laughs> wow, this is so nice. We're just putting our forks in more. That way we can carry the IBC tote as it's a little bit more narrow. I can't see. Go in. Yeah. Can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Reckless Riley! Now I go back to their beautiful equipment shed that's not only an equipment shed, but it's going to store all of their firewood and so much more, which is so handy. Uh oh, Courtney, I kinda wanna steal your skid steer. Jazzy's having the absolute best time in the skid steer, but I have to say, Courtney and Riley are also having a fantastic time showing us around. You can tell they absolutely just love every inch of what they do out here. Thanks for taking me to Disneyland. <laughs> that was so fun. Then I captain the cheapest yacht. All right, we're about to finish this workshop build over on Ambition Strikes channel. Go check it out. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you, so you much. for Thank coming. You for like, helping. And we, we couldn't have done this without your help. Yeah, you could. <laughs> Just a little bit more. It wouldn't have been as much fun. Fair. Uh, I'll take the fun card. I'll take the fun card. We're really sunny. Is that okay, Jazzy? Yeah, it's okay. We're on a sunny day, so go on over to their channel and watch the finish line happen. And you won't even believe what's next. It just gets better. Bye, Pac! <laughs> <laughs>